by the government of Liberia and the people of Japan and implemented by the Liberia Agency. Will I have the opening prayer by Mother Comfort Lloyd. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, the Lord of God. The Father, so in the mighty name of Jesus and the Lord we thank you, thank you for this location, O God. Our Lord and our most gracious King, we are present in our way, O God. As we are about to go on with the location, that we God, we say, come and take over that you will be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Fellow citizens, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joseph T. Williams. I am the, exec the Deputy Executive Director of LAIS. It is my absolute and greatest honor to welcome all of you on behalf of our Executive Director, Honorable Kobe Jacob, and the Lays family to the launching of the 14th Global International Market. I would also like to extend a special warm welcome to our visionary and illustrious president. You being here on a Friday morning, leaving your business schedule, is a proof enough of your commitment and love for this government. So again, on behalf of the people of Lakes, the Japanese Counterpart Value Fund, the Ministry of State, I say thank you and welcome. We'll have the introduction and overview of the market project by Mr. Steve Flampe, coordinator, Japanese Counterpart Fund. Mr. George Mala, we are president of the Republic of Liberia. Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of State, Minister of Justice, and all official of government presidents. I'm pleased to talk you through briefly on how the project came about. The way that they were looking, he said, I want to turn this thing to multi dialogue in France. Then the following time we joined was the expansion of the role at the World Bank 
to help us develop our life. But then the major challenge was, how do we move the 26,000 plus marketers of mineral light and the global church to leave the street? One morning, Joe walked to an office, the deputy executive director of place, and said, look, we understand you manage the Japanese phone. We want to build a market. I think when it's a good idea, you come and say, I listen to his excellency that if you put $8 million into the market project, they will be willing to be relocated to a site. The challenge was, how do we have this stakeholder consultative discussion? Go again, went to the Ministry of State, and then the following week, a meeting was convened where the marketer agreed to sign an MOU for mutual consent. Joe, this project is truly yours, and I thank you for your hard work. For us, in project management, we look at some of the risks. Your Excellency, the risk when this project is failing for it to be utilized is the issue of jurisdiction. Each market group wants to exercise authority over the other, and so we talk about expectation that since this market will take the size of 18,000 persons, we will petition each other the mineral light group take one side, and the global church group take one side. And where the global church is, we want to turn it to a modern wool workshop. And where the mineral light is, we want to turn it to a modern shopping mall. Amen. So I want to thank our mother, our sister. We want to tell you that when you move from the side, the issue of food hygiene, food safety, will be enhanced, and we want you to make full utilization of this project upon completion. Thank you. And the first remark will be um, given by the Honorable Besonga Finley, um, Dean of the Cabinet and Minister of Foreign Affairs. Members of the Marketing Association, ladies and gentlemen, today is a unique day. Today is the day when we are going to witness our president, the people's president, the marketeer's president. Good round for the marketers. The women and men that make sure that our economy moves. Mr. President, I recall sometime in 2017, as you launched your campaign in Maserato County, Moravia, I had the opportunity to ride with you while we got to red light. And the response you got from Red Light, from the marketers, you did not forget the support of the marketers. And it will be unfair for me not to mention this, Mr. President, so that the public can hear that back in 2017, your concern for the marketers. was then, and is still now, the dream to improve their lives, to improve their conditions so that they can increase their productivity, their income. And that's what this project is all about. We want to say thank you, Mr. President. We want to say thank you to the government and people of Japan who through the Japanese counterpart fund is funding this project. The project that the president had dreamed about. And that dream was manifested through one of his sons. And you heard the story of Joe. I don't want to be that biblical, but we all know the story of Joe. Or Joe. So, Mr. President, we want to say to you, thank you and will convey 
as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, your message to the Japanese government, the thanks and appreciation that the people of Liberia to you for the manifestation of this project is groundbreaking. Mr. President, we can assure you that this project will be completed within the requisite time required by the project. Ladies and gentlemen, we just want to give thanks and praises to the Almighty God. As I leave this podium, as you continue to offer prayers for the President and the leadership of our country, so that the Almighty Lord will continue to give him wisdom, patience, and guide him as he leads our country to prosperity. Thank you. Members of government here present, representative of the Japanese government, distinguished leaders of the Liberian Marketing Association, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, on behalf of BFC Group, permit me to express our profound solidarity to you and the resilient people of Liberia and to pledge our undoubted support to your government's pro-poor agenda, especially during these challenging moments under which your administration is consciously striving to respond to the multiple needs of your people. Today's groundbreaking ceremony marks yet a watershed moment not only for our dear mothers of the Liberian Marketing Association, but also for us at BMC Group, as it offers a resounding and perfect opportunity for our company to once again serve the government and people of Liberia with style, taste, and quality in architectural engineering. Mr. President, for us, Liberia is home as such whenever we are given the opportunity to put our service at the disposal of the country. We do so with proud duty and honor, exhausting all in our proximity to give Mama Liberia the country. We do cherish the best. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, with no intention to brag about our enriching performance record, permit me to state here that BMC Group has an outstanding performance record in the business of construction across Liberia. And it is on the backs of this grandiose record we were awarded this project through a competitive bidding process that included several companies. It would be remiss of me if I didn't add that it is our brilliant Liberian engineers and builders who essentially constitute about 95% of our staff that have the cornerstone of our eliminating success over the time. To them, we remain bountifully grateful. To Mr. President and our Japanese friends, I humbly pledge that it is the same relishing and remarkable spirit of honor and duty BMC Group shall replicate on the 14 Gorbachev Market Project. I assure you that when completed, the more than 14 Gorbachev Port project would rank second to none across Liberia in design, class, and quality. The project has a one-year span, but in line with the President's burning desire to march words to action in an expeditious timeline. When it comes to development projects, we are committing to have the project executed and be commissioned. Use it well ahead of time. Mr. President, may I reiterate with all the emphasis of my company, that BMC Group is a genuine friend of Liberia and shall remain a loyal partner of the government and people of Liberia. As such, we always stand ready to respond to all calls to that seek to essentially propel the proper agenda to prosperity. To our Japanese friends, may I, before this honorable gathering, give you our highest assurances that every fund spent on this project will need the desired value for money, meaning we shall endeavor to give you nothing less than quality. For the philosophy of our company is engendering quality in our services to principally generate client satisfaction. Finally, we want to express our thoughtful appreciation to the government and its Japanese counterpart for awarding this contract to us again 
through a credible reading process. Perhaps I should stress that for us, this is not yet another big business for PNC Group. No, it goes beyond that. It means, Mr. President, and our Mr. President and our Japanese friends, you have created jobs for many Liberians who the company will hire as partners on the project. And with jobs, they will have income to put bread on the tables of their families and send their kids to school. Something that sits at the core of this government pro poor agenda. We are indeed delighted to be blessed with such an incredible opportunity. I thank you all. May God bless Liberia. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy today that this market will be built in Liberia Marketing Association name. Today, our president, in a short period of time, you see the developments that he carried on. All our earnings have been paid, and whatsoever he is doing, he is doing it for his citizens. Yeah. Yeah. We're so happy. That John Manawea is the chief federal of LME, and he has proven it. Yeah. Our president, we are your pepper boots. Yeah. When you want to eat pepper, you always go in your body. Yeah. LME is your body. Yeah. And we know that you got us at heart. Yeah. Look at your proper red again. You have made plenty of people to get back in business. The rest that he will carry in the body. Those that couldn't afford to buy far and six bags, today they can buy ten. We gave you the praise for that. Let God be your helper in Jesus' name. Alright, we want to thank uh, the LME uh, President for those remarks. And we will now invite Madam Tewa Bondo, Superintendent of the Omega Market, to make the remarks. Happy all for our son 
la femme dans son réel, elle sait le faux faux faux. So quand elle est pas faux faux, mais quand il va pas faire faux faux, la femme est pas mise à amida. Oui, nous les bateaux, les trois, on va vous supporter. But we the country people want to be together, how we can do things together, that we should know we are country people, we are poor people. So, can we present our song, President? Send the country meeting on the government. Send last year, I can tell you what I can make sure that they do. And what if for the street seller go out to our market here, they are suffering on the street. So then the friend fell off, you see flour. When you know some people that people are saying it like that. So today, we are feeling to be our song. That they market. Send the market, they are out of the market, how they build. Come here, have not built market to generate funds for the, for the marketing association. We want the market to be on the government that that we have to turn away for government to pull their hands out and help our own market. So today we tell you, thank you for the development that you bring in in Omega for the poor people to live on the street. For the poor people to live on the street and then we can live there, Ghana. When you travel into our own market, you see how the market look. And even the history of Bihabiliti Omega, that when you live from Ghana, you come, the system that in Ghana must be in Omega International Market. So, also, I beg you, the, the, the fishing that was daily over the infinity, we want to take our people that, that, that they come, they play the machine, we want to be so some of them can be there for two because if we say today, I don't have a word in the corner, the mystery, the right to run out. So we feel it to you for the police director and you can get them somewhere to move on the street. You think they're taking their thing or not? Yeah, then. But they tell somebody they're frustrated or dead, but why you're not expecting them to go? So we want a fee to you. Go to another one too. No one they can say so good. So bad for you all from 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 all. We the women that born children when we see them on the street, they will not be this love what we are born for. So we are
cabinet members, other officials of government here present, members of the Liberia Marketing Association, the construction company, BMC, other distinguished guests present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored and have the distinguished duty to invite to the podium His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Liberia, Dr. George Manewea, who will make special remarks after which he will unveil the billboard and carry out the grand purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, our President. I have your seats. Honorable Dean and members of the cabinet, our international partners, family and friends, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Well, first of all, I want to inform you that our government has been facing a very tough time. A tough time, meaning we have lost so many of our colleagues, friends, and family in tragic accident since the past two months. Now, uh, a blow to us just the other day that our good friend, a brother of Ed of Lauren, lost his life for a car accident. I want to use the location to please inform you and also to ask you to please stand for a moment of silence as we move. Thank you. May so rest in peace and all people departed. Well, let me first of all say thank you and appreciation to the Japanese government for what they have done for us. And not just uh, our Omega market today, you can see the Somalia Drive, they are coming to the junction, we will beautify our road. And you can also attest to their project by deleting the huts in our villages and replacing them with homes. Today is a true manifestation to see that we are carrying on a groundbreaking for the Omega International Market. <laughs> so I want to thank our partner Japanese for all they have done. Now to come, because we are partner in progress. And I know they will be there for us. We will cooperate as we cooperate. So we all build our mutual relationship and also for a win-win situation. I agree with our previous speaker that uh, stated that I said I want to be a Monte Carlo. And I'm glad that I said that. Imagine I said something else. You are going to remind me today. 
But I'm glad that you reminded me that I want to be a multi in this country. <laughs> Motigala is a very small country, a royal kingdom that I live. Liberia is bigger than Motigala. It's so beautiful, and uh, some of these beautiful uh, uh, things we saw in Motigala, why not bring it to the country? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure today, wherever Anna we are lying, she will be very glad in her grave. I remember when my mom. I decided that all she, all she know is to be in the market. Uh, a couple of times that we were in markets, I want us to the market to be just leaving. And our dream was to see that women that are determined to be their life, that in the global condition, one day will happen that will be in a very uh, 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 beautiful situation. If I were to spend, I'm no different from you. I remember during my days I used to set up on the water side market. I roomed around buses. I walked in the, the, the mud, but it's the rainy season. I would determine as a park on board and a cool ball to be alive. But in such a condition, you know, those that, that, that know that water star, sometimes you can even be afraid to walk in water star. But we did all that. We went to Happy Corner to sell. We go to Kobo shops and watch DJ to be felt. But uh, uh, God has given me the opportunity and with all our blessings, I want to bless as many people God have blessed me. And this is my increasing duty to the Liberian people. As I said, I'm not a typical politician. I'm an administrator who believes in promoting humankind. I came in this market in 1992. I remember when I got into this market, Pittsburgh market, it was my first dream to build stores. And I just signed my first multi million dollar contract in Monte Carlo. I wanted to do business, I wanted my mom to see myself to be elevated. So I told her I'm going to real life market, I want to build stores. Uh, that's the store you see that people say job with that store. So you read man, I've been in the market for a long time. I'm also a market here. I'm on sale there. That's why I rented my store, he paid me, I had to break it. So I'm going to stay moving. But I think what is important today, the marketers are happy. And we are happy that we we'll make that move with our partner to help you. But you see, this will be built. Because it's already. It's already paid for. Now, you're going to have this market, but you have to take care of it. You got to make sure that it's in a good condition throughout the life you're going to live in. I know that too much 
investment. So you have to take care of it. You have to be proud of it. You know, so because for us, it's our responsibility to make sure that our people are happy. When you are happy, I am happy. I said to you the other day that for me, politics is more smoke up. I'm the president now. I, I have a responsibility to the Liberian people. Time for politics will be the best six years. And then I'll be coming back to you and say, uh, you can trust me again, but yeah. the level two. But while I'm in my, my six year term, Everything I said in the campaign, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. And I made a promise, and I want to fulfill my promise. So I want to work with you to make sure that your market is built. And I want to thank uh, our BNC, Honorable uh, Yeke, and my son Joseph. And you know, I admire Joseph a whole lot. This is a young man. He has a beautiful story. I knew him from nowhere during the war. He walked in my house in Ghana. He never left. The first time he came to my house, I asked him, Where are you from? And Joseph said, Well, I'm the nephew of Sylvester Williams. I said, Okay, we're family. Joseph lived with me in Ghana through all his entire refugee life. And I told him that I said something to him in Ghana and I always remind him when he going astray. I said, Joseph, remember you are in VIP now, you no more refugee. You are VIP refugee. <laughs> so to see that Joseph came back, back to Liberia for the stage to help build your life, that is a good thing. You know, and, and you can attest that if a Joseph can work for you to achieve this, then uh, George Manor we are a race of good song. Yeah. I also want to make sure that you live a beautiful life while you're in the market. And as you can see, the project for Somalia is coming. The project for Cobra Factory is also on the way to be the uh, 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 injunction. What I don't want you to do, we don't want casualties when the roads are paved and good. We don't want anybody that, uh, that have hope to be knocked down by car and what have you. Because when the road is wide, it's big, people will be crossing. So we're able to put together a design for the bridge and the junction that you will not have to go out here with car. You will not have to go out here with car. Whenever you're walking, you're walking on the path, that you're going to do with car. So, and those, those are our development. We saw it in different countries. What if people do not into out with cars on the road? No car and nothing to do with that. And that's why we, we make sure that we bring in more in or uh, construction so you also can benefit. So what we what, what, what we'll do, we also want to give 10 acres of land to the transport union. So the transport union cannot be distracting the market and the roads and what have you. We want to confirm them in a place where when they come with their booth they can be there, we can interact with them. And that's the only way we can save the street, the, the junction and also in the market. So we we'll offer them our, our 10 acres of land, the transport union, and we will do our best. We will do our best to get our Minister of Foreign Affairs with the Honorable Minister to look for partner so the transport facility can also be built. So you can complement your market. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you, the Magazine Association, for giving me 
giving us the this area to build your market. But if you have said no, if you have said no, I want to thank the administration for a beautiful work done. And I want to encourage you to help those that will be here. You know, there will be a lot of uh, goods will be severe. A lot of materials. And we want our young people to look at this as their own project. There will be steam roll, there will be a lot of things here. You should be the guardian of everything that's going to be here. So I got confidence in you, you young people. You are not forgotten. We are making sure that you will never regret, young people. We are doing our best. Since 1847, this is the first government, and I'll be proud to say that. It was government that brought a platform, a vision, and within four months, the government started implementing a vision before the actual agenda. This is the first government. And I can guarantee you, this is your government. This is your time. Don't listen to no politics. Politicians will say anything to you to get your attention. But I say to you again, those people that you give one percent of your vote to cannot determine your life. The man that you give sixty one point five percent of your vote to, the man that you have confidence, you trust him, you know that everything. Will be so, I want you to work with us, I want you to work with me, so we can make sure that I will take care of you and take and develop this country. Again, as President has stated, to God be the glory and God bless you.